Hey guys, good morning. Uh, let's see this question. Pass the pillow. In this, what's happening is that we are given n people standing in a line labeled from 1 to n. The first person in the line is holding a pillow initially. Every second, the person holding the pillow, it passes it to the next person. So every second, the person holding the pillow and people standing in a line. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the person holding the pillow will shift the pillow to the next person. Cool. Once the pillow reaches the end, the line, the direction of the pillow changes, which means the pillow is moving like this. As it reaches the end, the pillow will start moving like this. Cool. Uh, pillow continues to pass the pillow in the opposite direction. For example, once the pillow reaches the nth person, it is, it then they pass, start passing to the n minus one nth person. Okay, cool. Now we can easily see that the constraints are pretty low. We don't have to care about that. N is the number of people standing in a queue, and T is the how for how much time it's being passed. The pillow is being passed. So we can just see that, okay, if the people are four, so one, two, three, and four, four people are standing right here, right? So pillow will pass in this fashion, right? First, it, it will pass like this. And after that, like this, after that, like this, after that, like this, after that, like this, if the time is five. So firstly, it moved from one to two, uh, two to three, three to four, then from four back to three and from three back to two and like this. So it is five steps, or basically after five seconds, it lands at 2. So we need to return a 2. For example, in the next example, n equal to 3 and time equal to 2, people standing are 3. It passes from 1 to 2 and from 2 to 3. Then it says 2 seconds have elapsed. Now it is standing at 3. So we need to return a 3. Now we can easily see one thing that, okay, um, if we want to know at which location, see, although we can just iterate and go on maybe making it an, an algorithm of maybe O of N or O of N of time, but we can do it way much easier, right? How we can do is that, okay, if it is standing at one and it moves a two a second further, so you can easily see that how many number of hops it can do, how many number of hops it can do from here up till here. So number of gaps between it, how many gaps are there? Gaps are three. So basically, maximum number of hops from one person to the last, it can do n minus one hops. It's clear right now. Basically, if it goes in one round, so it will do n minus one hops. Again, when it come back, it, it does the n minus one hops. Again, it will go, it will do n minus one hops like this. Cool. Pretty simple. We got to know that, okay, for between n people, when I'm shifting my pillow, basically I'm shifting the pillow from starting to end, I'll reach in n minus one seconds. Cool. Now, one thing we can easily see and easily visualize is that, okay, if I'm standing at, let's say one and it says, okay, uh, the time elapsed is seven seconds and we can easily see that number of hops, which will be completed would be three between four people, four people, it will complete four hops. So basically, if I want to know the final position after seven seconds, maybe instantly what i can easily do is i can easily visualize okay at every hop basically it will go from here and after that it will, it will come here after that it will again go here so basically i can just eliminate all these straight lines and only the one which is final and is in between so basically what i'm saying is that i am just eliminating all these two lines which is from going here and going here because ultimately what will matter is maybe it is starting from scratch from this second so basically one two three four five six and seven so when i say seven or maybe if it would have started from one so basically all these six seconds whatsoever happened was useless to us right so what we can easily say that okay number of rounds completed which means that one round i say it goes one round it comes so it is one round going another round coming. So number of round completed are two. Now it's not completed. So it's just half a round. So it's not a round. So number of rounds completed are what? They are two, which is what? The time acquired upon number of hops because at every, it has these seven seconds and in some time for completing one round, it needs to do three hops. So how many number of rounds are required? To complete how many hops? These hops, it will be 7 by 3, which is 2 point something. But 
In total, how many rounds would be completed? It will be completed in two rounds only. So it's the reason we had two here, which means the absolute number of rounds completed, which are these two only, not this. I'm not counting the half one. I'm counting the absolute number of rounds completed. Okay. Now, will it solve the problem? No, right? Because rounds completed, what will they help me out with? But what will help me out with is the extra hop which are required after the rounds are completed. Which means that after these two rounds are completed, the extra hop which is required is nothing but the remaining number of hops. Because if it has 7 seconds, 6 seconds have already gone in computing these two rounds. So what is remaining is a 1 second. Which is the number of rounds, the number of hops it, it will do in the next partial round. One round was here, another round was here, another round was here. One, two were complete. The round three was partial. So in this last partial round, it will complete just one hop. What is this? It's just the modulo, which means the remainder of doing seven mod three. Right, because what it does shows me is that number of rounds remaining, partial number of round, partial number of hops remaining in the last round. It is just one. Now we got to know, okay, one hop it does, but it doesn't say from left or from right, which means that, okay, I got to know at last, okay, I just need to do a one hop, which means that if I have maybe four people, one, two, three, four, I just need to do a one hop. But as we can easily see that one hop, it can be from our left or it can be from a right, which means that the one hop, it can be from a left because when a round is completed, when a round is completed, it the round goes from here or the round goes from here. So one hop, it can be from extreme left or one hop can be from extreme right. Now I need to find out, okay, it is, is it from left or is it from right? To get that, what we can easily see, see is that when my rounds, number of rounds were even. So it's for sure that the next round would go from left again because if the number, number of rounds are even and it's starting from one so one two now whenever it will start it will start from left again so when number of rounds are even i'll go from start again when number of rounds are odd so which means one number of rounds are completed one which is odd now it will start from here so whenever number of rounds are odd it will start from right whenever number of rounds are even it will start from left i can use this ideology or use this phenomena to actually find out okay if i know number of rounds completed so far and if i know the number of hops remaining which is this number of rounds completed which is this number of rounds completed will show me is it from left or right i need to go number of hops will show me okay i need to go how many hops forward so it easily shows us that okay if the number of rounds are even then i need to go from left which is which means that i need to go from one so is in this example itself i just showed that okay if number of hops are let's say one and i'm pretty sure that okay i need to move from one because number of rounds were even so number of rounds were even so i just have to start from one which means this one number of rounds are even so i need to start from one and I need to add one because I need to do one more hop. I'm starting from one because of number of rounds are even and I'm doing one more hop because I have to do one more hop. So I will land at two. While in the other case, if the number of rounds have been odd, which means I have to start from end, which means n, and I have to do number of hops. How many number of hops? Let's say in this example, it was just one hop. So I need to do one hop from where from n equal to 4 which means from n which is last so after moving from n which is 4 i am doing one hop one hop i'll reach at what i'll reach at 3 so it's the final answer which we need to return i'll reach at 2 or maybe i'll reach at 3 it's just these two cases which we need to consider and that's all it's just pretty simple firstly i found the number of rounds which are there now if the number of rounds are even which means the case right here i'll start from left so i just did a one plus number of hops remaining if it is not the case which means number of rounds were odd so i just do from back which means n minus number of hops it is number of hops and ultimately i need to return my answer which is actually the final location
of that i hope that you guys got the intuition the problem and how we approached it although we could have made it in o of n or o of n into that particular complexity but we tried to do it in o of one that's the reason so yeah that's all from my side and i see you guys in the next video goodbye take care